In the next a couple of videos, we are going to work on the edit contact page. And for that, we need to familiarize ourselves with stack layout. Right? Currently, if we go to the edit contact page, we can see that there's the vertical stack layout. Actually, there's a stack layout and the orientation can be either vertical or horizontal. In .NET MAUI, there's actually, for convenience purpose, there's a vertical stack layout and a horizontal stack layout. The default orientation of a stack layout is a vertical stack layout. Okay, so if we do it this way, then it would be the same as uh, the vertical stack layout before we change it. Right, so if we let it run, and then we use hot reload to see what's happening when we make changes, then we can see that they are the same. Okay, the application is running. Let's click on one of the contact to go to the edit contact page. Right, right now we have the stack layout and it looks exactly the same as the vertical stack layout, right? Because the default orientation is vertical. Okay, let's learn about several things about a stack layout. First, we have this orientation, which I mentioned. So let's actually put it on the left side and then our application on the right hand side. So I'm going to put it over here and then I'm going to drag this over to here. And then let me minimize Solution Explorer. So let me actually uh, comment out. Actually, let's comment out the whole thing, okay, to make it clearer. Comment out the whole thing and then let's go to the code behind and let's comment out uh, this. And we don't have the cancel button, so let's comment out this. All right, so let's just focus on how stack layout works for now. All right, so let's add a empty stack layout. All right, so what we need to know is, first of all, we need to know uh, some important properties of stack layout. So let's put something. Let's put box view, right? Box view is basically a view that looks like a box. So it's very good for placeholders and it's very good for us to understand how layout works. Uh, we can specify the color of a box view so that we can see the size of uh, the size and position of the box view, right? So if we just do it this way, you can see that there's nothing on it. Right? That's because we didn't specify the size. So let's specify the size and we can use box view to understand how the views in stack layout positioned, uh, how the size and position worked. I'm going to add another one and we're going to make this one, let's say it's going to be blue, right? And another one maybe red and another one maybe yellow. Right. So if I save it, you can see there are different things. So this tells us that in the stack layout, each one of the child views are stacked together, right? Up and down because the orientation is vertical, right? Because the default orientation is vertical. So each one of the child views are stacked together, right? So agua is the top one and then blue, red, and yellow. So you can see agua, blue, red, yellow. So if we change the stack layout to horizontal stack layout, and then if I save it, now we see nothing. Why is that? Well, to answer that question, let's change the height request to width request. And then click on the save button. You can see that everything is showing up and Agua is on the left. Obviously everything's stacked together again, but it's stacked from left to the right, right? The vertical layout stack views top to bottom and horizontal stack layout stack views from left to right right and there's an important property that we need to understand which is the spacing right now you can see that each one of the box views are connected together right so if we specify a spacing here uh, then you can see that there's a space in between Right. So if we change this back to vertical, then of course we have to change this to height. Then you can also see the gaps. Another thing that is very important is for a vertical layout, a control like a box view, a button, 
for example, by default fills the entire screen from left to right, right? And if it's a horizontal stack layout, by default, the box view or buttons, those controls or views will fill the screen from top to bottom, right? That's the default behavior. But you can modify that by specifying the width request. So let's say the width is 100, right? So if I do that, notice that the Agua box view is changed, right? And then this is only 100 from left to right, right? That's the width. Right, so if I specify all of them, right, they look like that. Then the question comes, like how do we configure the position of the box view? It's always in the middle. There is a horizontal options, right? And by default, the horizontal option for a box view or a button um, is center. But if we specify start, then now you can see the box view move to the left. And we specify this, as the center and then let's specify this as right sorry and then you can see that center is center start is left end is right right and the de default the yellow one stays as default default is also center so for a vertical stack layout you cannot position child views vertically because they just stack on top of each other where well, there's nothing to control right but you can configure the height whereas for a vertical stack layout you are able to configure the horizontal positionings right and you have three options start center and end now when it comes to a horizontal stack layout right? so let's comment out this copy make a copy and then come out this and then let's change this vertical stack layout to horizontal stack layout of course now the width and height kind of flips so we're going to change this to 100 and width to 50 otherwise it will look very very weird because we don't have enough space from left to right now you can see that everything is in the middle uh, the horizontal options is not going to work because for a horizontal stack layout, we can only control the positioning of the child views on the vertical level, right? On opposite level. So what we can do is we can specify the vertical options. Uh, for vertical options, then we can specify start, center, and end. So when we do that, you can see the start goes to the top, right? Because that's the agua. And then blue is in the center. And red is at the bottom. By default, we don't specify anything. It stays at the center, right? So now you can see that uh, for a horizontal layout, you can specify the position vertically. Whereas for a vertical layout, you can specify the position horizontally, right? Using the horizontal options. Whereas when it's a horizontal layout, you can use the vertical options, right? So that's the takeaway. Then other than that, the spacing is very, very important. Of course, again, for vertical stack layout, you use the height request to specify the size and then you use the width request to specify the size for a horizontal stack layout now let's comment out the horizontal stack layout and then we'll go back and use the vertical stack layout well let's add a label actually because label behaves differently uh, from box view or a button so we're going to say text test label now you can see that it appears at this position so what is this position this is horizontal position and that's the start horizontal position right so if we were to say horizontal options start and it, it's not going to change anything right so let's also add a background color 
to say this is let's say gray and now now you can see that the label it's not like uh, if we don't specify the with request of the box view the whole thing is going to fill the entire screen right on the width whereas for a label it does not fill the entire width but we can use the horizontal options to say fill and when we do that you can see that the entire width is occupied by the label right because the background actually tells us how big it is and again we can use the horizontal options to specify where the text is positioned now you can see that they are positioned differently according to start center and end right so left middle and right another thing you also want to understand is that layout not only a uh, stack layout all of the layout can be nested right so for example if we uh, put another horizontal stack layout inside the vertical stack layout so this is going to appear at the bottom because it's a stack layout right it's a vertical stack layout uh, the, and then we are going to put a label and we're going to say text equals name right and then we are going to say entry right? so this entry is basically an input field right entry over here and now if i save it what does it look like well you can see that this there's entry field here you can see the the keyboard is showing up so this is a entry but you can actually notice that there is a kind of a misalignment remember that for horizontal stack layout we can actually use vertical options to specify the alignment vertically right so let's actually use vertical options here let's say center right so that we can align them together vertical options and then center so i'm going to save now you can see that they are aligned together beautifully right so let me remove these words right and if we even put words here you can see that words is aligned with the label name so everything looks perfect and then of course if you want to add a spacing between the label and the entry view then you can use spacing over here and let's say we put five there then add it a space here nicely right a gap okay that's everything we want to mention about stack layouts right whether it's a vertical or horizontal let's go ahead and actually work on this uh, this page but remember that we only have two views two meaningful views right a name and email maybe let's add a uh, phone number right and perhaps also a address let's actually uh, stop this so we have uh, a few other views and then we can come over here to our contact page and let's delete these experimental layouts here and let us add the actual uh, views so here i want to use a horizontal stack layout to add the chart views right so we are going to have a label just like what we did just now and then this is going to be um the name of the person right and then we are going to have a entry field for it for now there's no data binding yet and of course we're going to add vertical options center and then another vertical options center over here now we're going to copy this and we're going to repeat this a few times all right because the first one is for name the second one is for email second one the third one is for phone number and maybe the last one is the address okay now you can see we have our name email phone number and address right uh, things are not actually aligned properly so for vertical layout we want to add a margin and we are going to say 10 0 0 0 then when we do that you can see that the left changed so this is the margin left this is the margin top so let's say i'm going to put 10 on the top as well 
then you can see that it actually moved down a little bit, right? So maybe uh, the margin 10 is not enough. So let's specify 20, right? So that's better. And then you can see that uh, the entry fields are not aligned to the left. So then how do we fix that problem? We can specify the width request for each one of the labels. Okay. Let's say each one of them is 80. And then you can see that they are aligned together, but it seems that 80 is too much. So maybe uh, let's say 60. Now that looks much better. But if you want to make it a little bit better, we can add a frame around the horizontal layout. Right, so when we do that, you can see the name field becomes like this. So why the side, the right hand side is sticking to the border? That's because we didn't add a uh, margin here. So uh, we, so this is remember this is left and this is top and this is right. So we need to add the same margin as the the left margin. So the right margin now becomes twenty, and now you can see that the frame basically provides a border and it has a radius. So that looks pretty good, but then it's too big, right? It's too big. So, but we can specify the padding, right? The padding is the inner side, right? The margin is the, the outside and the padding is inside. If we specify zero to all of them, then, then it becomes like this. It doesn't look really good. So let's specify the left hand side to be 10 and the, the right hand side to be 10 as well. Then now it looks pretty good. So maybe we can add top, padding to be two and bottom to be two and make it look a little bit better, right? So now we can put frame on each one of those horizontal layout. And now we have all of the views beautifully displayed on the screen. Perhaps I want to see a bigger gap on the top. So maybe a 20 as the top margin. So now everything looks much better. So that's what I want to cover for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.